company at the center of a Missouri marijuana recall faces a $20 million lawsuit, you guys. That's right. Delta Extraction, the Robertsville-based marijuana manufacturer at the center of Missouri's massive product recall last year, is being sued for nearly $20 million in unpaid invoices and loss of revenue by a former contractor. SND Equipment Leasing is a Missouri company that created the THC concentrate oil that led to the regulator's decisions to pull more than 60,000 marijuana products off the shelves back in August and revoke Delta Extraction's manufacturing license in December. SND claims Delta Extraction owes the company more than $13 million for producing about 1,100 liters of THC concentrate oil or distillate and other products, according to the company's lawsuit filed in Franklin County last month. A liter of 80% concentrated THC can make more than 70,000 individual gummies at 10 milligrams THC, a, a piece, industry experts say. That's almost 80 million doses, you guys, or twice that amount if they're 5 milligrams of THC gummies. The company is also asking for $5 million in loss revenue after the state confiscated its extraction equipment that was inside Delta Extraction's facility for five months. And SND's attorney, Jay Pramali, told The Independent on Tuesday that Delta Extraction contained S and Delta Extraction contracted SND to do a job. And it was Delta's responsibility as the licensee to make sure the work was in compliance with marijuana regulations. SND had no authority to communicate directly with regulators, she said. Promoli linked the situation to a homeowner contracting a business to paint the house green and then the homeowners association saying the color doesn't meet regulations. The contractor should still get paid for the work, she said. In a quote, it doesn't matter what the state says or if it was within compliance or not, Pamoli said they still contracted with SND to produce a product. In March, Delta Extraction argued against the recall and its license revocation before the Administrative Hearing Commission, a decision the appeal is still pending. And hundreds of documents were filed in this case, including eight hours of testimony by SND owner Jason Sparks, who, pri who primarily works in Oklahoma's cannabis market. However, the lawsuit is the first glimpse uh, at the estimated damages um, damages Sparks Company incurred over his business agreement with Delta Extraction. A spokesperson for Delta declined to comment as the company awaits a decision on its appeal by the Administrative Hearing Commission. And when Sparks first began working with Delta in early 2022, he was making the distillate only for the marijuana brand Conti, an Oklahoma-based company. Sparks' wife, Tiana Conti, owned owns Conti, and as an out-of-state company, Conti can only make its products at a Missouri licensed manufacturing facility that can legally obtain marijuana. But in the spring of 2023, the supply for marijuana distillate was low across the state, and Delta contracted with Sparks to make large amounts of distillate that Delta sold to about 100 other Missouri manufacturers. Those manufacturers went on to produce gummies and vapes for other brands, which is why the product recall was so wide as Spread. Despite uh, despite Delta calling it the Conti distillate, Conti wasn't involved in that business deal or receiving profits from it. The lawsuit states, and uh, at issue is what's what's in the distillate. That's right, you guys. Uh, Sparks uh, extracted a small amount of THC from Missouri-grown marijuana, which the state heavily regulates. Then he added a large amount of THC oil that was extracted from hemp, a product that is completely unregulated. It's much less expensive to make distillate from hemp than Missouri-grown marijuana, but Delta's consumers still paid marijuana prices. The state argues that any kind of THC must be regulated by the Division of Cannabis Regulation, so any products made made from Delta's distillate were pulled off the shelves because they posed a health risk. Still today, 45,000 products are pending the commission's decision on Delta's appeal, but Delta argues hemp is not a federally controlled substance and the state has no authority to regulate hemp-derived THC products. Even further, testimony and evidence uh, revealed during the March appeal hearing showed for the first time that the state was aware of the process SND and Delta were using before the recall was issued. 
The state said Sparks' testimony validated its concerns of health and safety because he couldn't recall where he brought the hemp-derived THC oil from and used to make his early distillate in 2022. However, the distillate that led to the recall was actually made from a different hemp product uh, than Delta and SND, and SND began using back in May of 2023, according to testimony and exhibits in the case. And certified lab results are available for those ingredients, Promoli said, and in a final quote, the distillate was tested by Missouri licensed laboratories as required at all steps in the distillate creation process, according to a statement from SND's attorneys. To date, there have been zero complaints or health or safety concerns with any of the related products referenced in this uh in this situation well 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 man i think i think both sides have uh have something going on in here and have some very very valid arguments i mean first of all uh delta knew that they were skirting skirting the lines by using these uh this hemp derived distillate and cutting it with thc to have larger larger distillate sales and they did let the state know about that and then the state later decided to uh to say, hey, no, you can't do it after they told them that they were doing it. So I think the state has some liability here, and I do believe the SND should be paid because they are correct that their contract had nothing to do with whether or not the products met any type of s- s- testing standards. They were just contracted to produce oil for them. So, But nonetheless, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this. You know, I don't mind um, distillate, if that's what they're calling. Basically, you know, hemp is natural plant, and the uh, the uh, THC, even if it's at 0.3%, is extracted from mm-hmm. that plant. And um, usually, uh, there are isomeric, mean, meaning like left-handed, right-handed types of THC, mm-hmm. Um that may be different in hemp. Uh, um, so I think that should be looked at. But uh, other than that, it's just THC. So it's not a problem. My problem comes when they actually take CBD and put acid on it to try to change it to THC and Got end it. up getting all these byproducts that, that are a problem. So I, I don't know why they're making a big deal out of this. Um, THC is THC. I, and, and I do think that they have a valid argument saying that that the that the distillate that that S and D produced um, is an unregulated product and therefore should be treated like any other ingredient that's going into and not and not worried about the fact that it has cannabinoids in it because the state has no jurisdiction over that. I think that's a very very compelling argument. Yeah, they wrote it. They, if they were trying to stop THC, they they left the loophole. Yeah, it's 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 like basically like like uh like like any type of candy manufacturer, um with 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 them saying, oh no, you only could use uh you only could use raw sugar, not pure cane sugar, something like that. You know what I mean, Doctor T? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and you know, if the lab is conscientious, they'll make it pure. They'll make it pretty pure so that you're not getting other things fair enough matthew any thoughts elise it's just a non a uh, bunch of non-science based bullshit they're the same plant we, it's just a great moment to remember that the actual name for government is the first mafia mm. that's who they are they're just an organized crime ring that was the first successful one mm-hmm. so they want their money it's extortion exactly yeah just Uh, money they want their money they want their money well speaking of uh corrupt governments 